we've been waiting long enough. Honestly, we've been waiting um, over a month for this. So, uh, yeah, let's just get this started. How do you do, g -Pod crew? It's your nutty buddy Putty here, and today we're going to be talking about Andor. Now, here's my thing. I... <laughs> my last episode, which was the episode 5, The Axe Forgets, I was deeply disappointed on what, where the story is leading. And it felt so much like it was self-contained in that story that when it got to... Spoilers, if you haven't watched the episode, go watch it. Um... It leads in... To, okay, you know what? Let's just, let's just put it out there. Spoilers are going to be in the beginning. Unfortunately, I don't really have the time to really just get into it without spoiling it. It's all on Disney Plus if you could watch it. I better just go ahead and give you that warning right now, right now, right now, because I feel like it really needs to be known. But there's, this is the point to the whole thing. When, we kept, when I last did my last review for Episode 5, I was, like, not happy with the way the show was going. It felt very, uh, like it didn't have, it, it wasn't aware of what it was. And it seemed like it was its own self-contained story that, unfortunately, opens up way more later down the, the, the season. The thing is, is once you get to episode, I'd say, six, it feels like it's its own story that just feels dead. All the way up to the heist, it feels dead. And I don't mean my joke like that, I'm just saying it just feels it just didn't feel right. And this is what left me to stop doing the reviews for Android. Not because I didn't like the show, but because I, life just kind of didn't... It was bad pacing, and it didn't keep me hooked, so to say. I like the intricacies of thinking of Star Wars in a more sensible way, grounded situation. And that's what Android does. It just it starts off badly and then really goes into something special. Here's the reason why I'm actually thoroughly happy with Andor. is because it sets in a situation that feels like, um... If you ever played a game, there's a, a series of games you probably might have heard of called Halo. And in the world of Halo, Master Chief fights these big-ass monsters, but sometimes has these little things called grunts. And to Master Chief, the grunts are small. They're innocent. They're not in a big deal. Just like any Jedi in a Stormtrooper. But how does a person in a regular day life deal with Stormtrooper? That isn't a hero, that is just a regular human. That's what this feels like. This feels like it's trying to give you the political, the starvation, things that that's happened in other series or movies, kind of, but never really touched base on it like it does with this. How everything leads down a path that's bad. Crime, drama, oops, and this, all because it's led by the Empire being the rule makers of this situation. And I, myself... At first, really did not like the way the show was going. And I said, well, since I don't like it, let's just not do the reviews and wait till the end. Because I just wasn't feeling it. But then my friend Campo from RLG Cast decided to say, hey, you need to go back and watch it. You're going to like it. And then he told me, hey, you're going to do a review with us. You need to catch up. Well, because of him, I'm now doing that and the Guardians of the Galaxy Holly Special. And I haven't been doing the Guardians of the Galaxy Holly Special without any overlay. So that'll be interesting. But the whole point of this thing is that we're doing the Andor episodes 6 through 12. And I want to say after 6, they go amazing. For some reason, the episodes feel a lot better, feel a lot more constructed. Like, I don't know why the heist was made outside of introducing characters and linking them so much. And that makes sense. But I don't know. I, I just didn't feel for the character, especially since there was collateral damage and deaths that were supposed to meant something to me, but didn't. And that's how you started off the, the episode. But then, for example, Andor's mother dying, or not Andor's mother, but, uh, um, you know, 
the Andor family or the mother dying, um, 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 uh, his, his, his mother dying, forgetting his name at the moment. My point to the whole thing is this. It's one of those things that I'm happy to see new characters introduced in this world because literally all, all the characters we see within Andor are, are self-contained creations from Disney's Star Wars legacy. Nothing that George Lucas outside of characters and droids maybe. And even the droids are fairly new most of them outside of uh, a, a few here and there and of course the same thing with a few aliens here and there but that's not what the core of always star wars has been and so yes i was not really feeling this until towards the end when i started realizing okay this could be something this could be something special i don't know my point whole thing is this i'm still happy with the way it turned out better than i thought it was going to be but it definitely did not go high on a pedestal when it comes to series. Maybe I do want the sci-fi element, the 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 the, the action-packed and not grounded human element. But we need it. We need it in the Star Wars universe. I need it. You need it. We all need it. That's just how it is. And that's how I want to leave it. Um, I was going to do Easter eggs, things of that nature. But again, I just don't have the time. I just want to say I am changed my mind on my thought of Andor. And... Um, I will not say it's the greatest, but I will not say it's the worst. It hits the fine line of being right in between. It's there for a reason. It has its reasons to be there to extend the lore of Star Wars. And you can't get mad about that, can you? Tell me what you guys think in the comments. Did you guys like this series and or? By the way, again, I'm going to be doing a review with both Johnny Donuts and Campo. Um, today, where we're going to be doing a discussion about it. I just want to put it out there that I finally got the and or done. I will be doing Guardians next. And then there's another series I need to do. What on? A lot to do. With that being said, as always, I'm Putty with the g -Pod Crew. And you know what we do. We do reviews like Andor for you. And I'll see you guys in the Guardians of the Galaxy review and a certain other one. Will I ever get it done? Disney, you're taking over my life. There's another company out there looming too. If you don't know who, you don't know me. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Peace.